You have to keep this in mind about narcissists and sociopaths when they get their new supply or new people to use and help them, right? They're always usually going to pick people that will not get along with you because you're the old supply. And that's kind of ingrained in the narcissism because what happens a lot of times, the new supply is other narcissists, sociopaths, or narcissistic people, right? So they're going to be pulling in people that dislike you. Because remember, I mean, that's the whole goal for them to keep feeding off that. So what happens is through not interacting with the people, the new people that they've pulled in, it means calling their phone. So for example, if the narcissist doesn't have a phone and there's been some contact from the new supply, from the new supply phone with the narcissist using their phone, you got to cut that contact. And so what that does, that leads you into no contact with the narcissist. Okay. And so remember that usually everybody or most people that come into that narcissist's life are going to be people that have an issue with you. They're going to automatically have this level of hatred towards you. And you just got to cut the contact. Like you got to remember this. It's kind of like, you know, when people say, well, those aren't my friends. Those are the narcissist associates. I don't even want to say friends because the narcissist can't be no friend to them because they're just using them. Okay. Even if the new supply is another narcissist, that's just a narcissist being used by your ex narcissist, whether it be a spouse, a relative or whatever. Right? So what has helped me is to cut off the people that the narcissist deal with because this is why you want to cut them off okay and not interact with the people that the narcissist deals with i'm going to give you some solid reasons why number one those people that the narcissist is now dealing with does not have your morals morals such as they may not be believers they don't have the same ethics that you do they don't have your standard in some of the areas that you will. So basically, it's kind of like this. Y'all not compatible, okay? Another reason not to interact with them, there will be arguments, debating, and you will be baited in into things that could even lead to legal consequences, such as going so far to where the police are involved, okay? Three, another reason you don't want to deal with the interaction with the new people that the narcissist is dealing with is because it's disingenuous. The narcissist and sociopath does not like you. Neither does the new supply that they're dealing with, which in this case, at a minimum, they're narcissistic. Okay. And they can convince an empath to dislike you too. Number four, it's a waste of time and it takes a lot of your week up. A lot of your week. The time in your week can be spent on something better. Number five, give them nothing to talk about. Okay, so if you're talking to that narcissist on that new supply phone, and in most cases, this is not, your spouse i mean it could be but could be but it could be other relatives so it's just too time consuming okay um let me see i think that was number five number six it's toxic and when you're interacting with them you could be spending time on your own friends because usually when the narcissist has discarded you or you've had to discard the narcissist, 
they've discarded you and everybody you know okay because the people you know are pretty good people they may not be perfect but they show like cussing you out fighting you you know you're in legal matters they're committing criminal activity towards you or people you know the people that you deal with are not doing none of that because you are dealing with law-abiding genuine maybe religious good people okay so another reason not to engage in the conversation the narcissist thinks it's funny okay and another reason the narcissist will never like you but the narcissist or sociopath can sit back and say this man or woman don't like a lot of drama and this is a peaceful person they may not say it directly to you but a narcissist will normally not want you as supply because not interacting with these people that they're now dealing with it makes that narcissist back off you too because remember the more you interact with the narcissist and sociopath new supply the more that narcissist is reaching out the more you're hoovered the more you're contacted you're just sucked back into that and another reason not to communicate with the narcissist new supply and not to get involved too deep in that is because over time you'll just notice you go on about your day and you don't even think about this narcissist because the drama's removed and it just ain't worth it you know what i mean at the end of the day it's not worth it so and look at it this way you can never be on the main road of no contact as long as you're interacting with the narcissist and the people that they deal with because remember when that narcissist is dealing with that new supply anybody after you let me explain something to you if you were the primary supply and first supply and main supply for that narcissist right anybody after you will be in some way toxic even if on the surface the narcissist thinks they're not they're still poison even if the narcissist can't see it many times the narcissist won't see it until way way later you know but because remember karma's on them so they're going to begin to attract who they are and another reason you don't want to interact with the narcissist new supply is because the narcissist is not loyal to you that's why they have a new supply this is not somebody this is not a man or woman that's caring that you were a dedicated mom and dad to them a dedicated grandma and grandpa this narcissist does not care about what you did for them okay and stop the interaction also because your attorney has told you to stop interacting that's another good reason because sometimes it's legal matters so if your attorney law enforcement and other people have suggested that you stop the interaction stop it another reason to stop interacting with who the narcissist new supply is so fights don't break out and when i say fights i mean physical because it can get physical also if you prevent it getting physical nobody gets any bodily harm or worst case scenario somebody gets killed okay because just you got to just find something else to do it's it's just at the end of the day every time you contact the narcissist and their new supply none of these are your friends that's another thing none of these are your friends anyway these are not good people so you're here with advanced insights so another reason i do these videos is because in turn i want you to attract 
good people. So, and the way to attract good people is to first eliminate or get away from the toxic and bad people. Then the good people just come naturally. It just happens naturally. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so this is why you want to cut that contact. I mean, I am speaking from experience. Um, I have issues going on in my life, in my current life, and I have to obey this. So what I do is I obey it, right? Just so you know, I'm a big believer. This channel here makes me so accountable, even to myself, you know? I said, well, okay, I wanna help other people, but do you realize my own videos make me accountable? So, what I find that I'm strong enough to do, I share with you and why you should do it. And the result of it is energy level. Okay, so the end result, if you do this and apply this to your life on why not to deal with the narcissism, and the new supply that they have, right, is your energy level will increase. You will be more focused on your goals and it just won't ruin your day. And then you want to make it where that narcissist just backs off. You know, once you get to the point, it may hurt, especially if you love these narcissists, right? It may hurt a little, but over time that'll heal. But when you're at the point where they're away from your doorstep, hey, I mean, I understand a lot of you you might have got five narcissists out of your house. I don't know, maybe you feel a little alone. You're grieving. I'm the type of person, as I was raising my family, right, and dealing with my relatives, I have always done stuff by myself too. I spent a great deal of time with my family, right? So say I go out to eat. I go out to eat with my family. But I always went out to eat by myself also. So make sure that when you're raising people and you're cohabitating and living with your relatives, make sure you learn how to do things by yourself. Because if not, you're going to be in a very dark place. So that's something that I've been able to do my entire life whether it be take a nap alone, go up the street to get something to eat. Like right now I'm alone. Okay, now when I enter my home, I won't be. I have a relative that's at the house right now, right? But you gotta know how to do stuff by yourself. Okay, you cannot rely on anybody but the Lord, at the end of the day, you cannot depend on people to make you happy. You got to know how to enjoy your own company. And once you learn how to do that, you will attract a lot better situations. You just will. But I'm fortunate that I was always able to move on as people came in the home and moved out. I mean, that's just how it is. When you're a provider because I'm a provider. So people come in, they leave. They come in, they leave. Because, I mean, they're not there forever because people grow up, right? People just grow up, you know? Just like we grew up and we moved out. Some people grow up and they still stay home. I mean, I know people that um, they don't move out. You know, they continue to stay in the same house, you know? And it's nothing wrong with that. If it works, it works. I'm not downgrading that, but you'll just be so peaceful. I mean, this is something, what I'm telling you right now, I had to apply this to my life this weekend. And I took such a um, good nap. You know, I was home alone today. My relative was out of the house. Um, and... I applied it and it worked. And 
You also want to be in the habit. This is another thing I want to add. You want to develop a habit of contacting good people because a lot of times wanting to contact that narcissist through the new supply, that's an addictive nature and it's emotional thinking. Okay. And ultimately show that narcissist and sociopath, you don't need them because that's what they showing you. And last but not least, if this is a narcissist and sociopath that does not have their stuff together. And when I say they stuff together, I mean, they ain't really got no real, real home. Remember where they at and where they thinking they at is temporary. No matter what that narcissist and sociopath think, even staying with a relative is not permanent your whole life in most cases, especially when it comes to the narcissist and sociopath. So at the end of the day, apply this. It works for me. Please like, share, and subscribe and just try it out. I'm doing it. Um, narcissists and sociopaths are always going to come into your midst. Again, please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you so much. There's a car coming, so I'm, I'm going to take this and end this so this noise is not in here. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.